Today we are going to paint with coffee, green tea and rooibos tea on a piece of unstretched canvas. You can of course also do this art practice on a piece of thick paper. Watercolor paper would be perfect as well. I made two dishes with coffee. One with the coffee grounds in it and one diluted with water for a lighter tint. I prepared the coffee and tea the night before so they had enough time to release their pigments into the hot water. You don't have to wait for that long but the colors might be less intense if you paint with it right away. Now let's begin our practice with lighting a candle. Make a cup of your favorite tea, put some music on that you enjoy and this will help you to create an atmosphere that feels soothing and nourishing to you. I start with making swatches on a piece of canvas. First I'll test the coffee. I apply it without and with the coffee grounds and then a swatch for the lighter shade and lastly I apply some with a brush instead of using the spoon. Now it's time to see what the green tea looks like with and without the leaves in it and we'll do the same for the rooibos tea as well. The swatches with the coffee grounds and the tea leaves on it took a long time to dry. I got impatient and started blow drying it. They got a very subtle texture from the leaves and coffee grounds. If you are interested in a more visible texture, try sprinkling salt on the ink while it is still wet. The coffee stains as well as the rooibos tea got me really excited. The green tea has a lovely soft green tone that I like as well, but not in combination with the other two. That is why I decided to continue my painting only with coffee and rooibos. Keep in mind that those natural inks are not waterproof, so when you paint over them again and make them wet, your dried layers will change as well.
it was getting late and darker outside, but I couldn't stop playing. I enjoyed it so much that I didn't even notice that the candle was already out for a while. By laying this piece aside to let it dry, I decided I want to start another one with a slightly different approach. It's getting really late now and almost too dark to film. So this is where I have to say goodbye. I hope to see you next week for another natural art exercise. And I can't wait to show you the final results of today's practice soon. <laughs>